Trev's Hockey Show. I'm the Trev. It's too sweet. Anyway, Ted Lindsay Award finalists were named earlier today. And really, I mean, if this is a prelude to the Hart Trophy, the, these, these two are pretty open and shut. But when they do announce the Hart, we'll go over it, as is tradition. And really, this should be unanimous. I know it won't be, but it should be. Either way, let's break it down. Let's talk about it. All right, so one more time. The Ted Lindsay Award is awarded annually to the player voted most outstanding in the NHL as per the NHL's Players Association members. So MVP as voted on by the players. And the winner will be announced at the June 26th award show. And again, we're just talking about it for the sake of talking about it, I think. But we're going to do that anyway. As I had mentioned, this award usually goes hand-in-hand -hand with the Hart Memorial Trophy. As most often than not, the winner of this usually walks away with the Hart as well. But either one of these guys should should earn the nomination at least even though I think we all know who's winning it. We're going to talk about him anyway. So let's start with the first finalist. So first up is Eric Carlson. Now, Carlson's already a, a finalist for the Norris Trophy, which we've talked about right here. So Carlson went ahead and managed to have himself a nice little season, scoring 101 points for the San Jose Sharks, being not only the first defenseman for the Sharks to score 100, but the sixth defenseman in NHL history to record 100 points and the first since Brian Leach in 1991-92. Now, if that wasn't impressive enough, he is the eighth defenseman in the modern NHL expansion era, so since 1967-68, to outright lead defensemen in goals, assists, and points within a single season. So how's that? He had himself a record 14-point game streak, which included 22 points altogether, 2 goals, 20 assists. From December 3rd to January 6th, also included in this season, was his first hat trick. So that, there's that, too. On top of that, he factored into 43.35% of San Jose's goals, not including shootouts or game deciding goals so there's that to take into consideration next next up is Connor McDavid now obviously he led the NHL in scoring for the third straight season with 64 goals and 89 assists for 153 points in a full 82 games that's pretty damn close to two points per game average that's unheard of in this modern NHL. Anyways, his 153 points not only earned him the Art Ross Trophy, which we talked about there, but his 153 points was the 15th highest total in a single season in NHL history. So he's climbing the ladder, if you will. He became the fifth different player to lead the league in each category in a season with his goals, assists, and points. Well, and really no surprise, the first to do it since 1986-87 when some kid named Gretzky did it. Now, if that ain't impressive, he's also the first player in NHL history with three separate point streaks of at least 15 games in a season. So, take that. Now, if McDavid were to win, it would be his fourth Ted Lindsay Award as he has previously won it three times before. On top of that, it would be the 11th Ted Lindsay Award, if you count the Lester B. Pearson Awards history into this, for the Edmonton Oilers. And to add even more to this, it would be the 5th Ted Lindsay Award in the past seven years for the Edmonton Oilers, as we can't forget Drysaddle won it in 2020. Final finalist. Final finalist is David Pasternak, from the Boston Bruins. Now, Pasternak finished second in the NHL with 61 goals in a full 82-game schedule. On top of that, he set a career high in assists with 52 and tied third 
in the league with 113 points, as well as setting a career high in plus minus with a plus 34, with game winning goals at 13, with shots with 407. He had nine games with at least three points this season, and was tied for second in the NHL with three hat tricks. The guy is a scoring machine, no matter how you want to look at it. I mean, he's already won this award. Or he hasn't, sorry, I'm thinking of a different completely award. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Anyways, personal best and stats aside, he was also one of the main reasons the Bruins steamrolled everybody, setting their record-breaking regular season. Now, he's a first-time finalist for this, and if he were to win, he would be the third Bruin to win it, and it would be the fourth Ted Lindsay Award. Again, if you count the Lester B. Pearson Award history in this, as the last time the Bruins won this was 1975. That was when Bobby Orr won it, so well before my time. But anyway, there's the finalists. Here's my pick. Well, again, I don't really think this is really up for debate. At this point, it has to be McDavid. Because, I mean, to give him the heart and not this would make absolutely no sense. I mean, the guy led the league in everything for pretty much the entire season. I mean, it wasn't immediate, but as soon as he got himself right up there, goals, assists, points, ain't nobody catching him at all. I mean, like I said in the Art Ross slash Rocket Richard video, he led the league in a lot of things for a very long time. I don't think I'm wrong. I think you can definitely take this one to Vegas. And, yeah. That's my pick for the Ted Lindsay Award for 2023. Let me know your pick for the 2023 Ted Lindsay Award. I don't watch those hockey shows. Oh, thank you for tuning in. Don't think. I don't appreciate the gesture. Especially if you've made it to this point. And if you have, well, dude... Dude, I appreciate that more than you know. But if you are here, hit that like. Come on, I think I've earned it. On top of that, that red button that says subscribe all over it. You know you want to. You know I want you to. So let's do it up. We're pushing 250. Let's make that happen. That social that I never use, it's in the description down below. Let's move forward. As I said, I think we have two, two more words for sure, maybe three. Coming up relatively quickly. And a couple more down the pipe. Somewhere down the line. But either way, in the meantime, in between time, let's go look for more videos from Trev. Later.